Okay, here is what my lavender looks like after my chop job. Um, let me get my shadow out the way so we can take a look at what I did to my lavender plant. This is a <clears throat> this is a um, July trim. So this video I'll put up at another time. But the plant was huge. You can see it was all this woody growth. And underneath it, it was putting forth brand new, fresh growth that will flower um, in the fall. These flowers would not have been able to come flower. They aren't flowers now, but in fall, they'll lavender flowers on new growth. So if you just have old growth, you have no flowers. You will just have a hedge and without any flowers. But because I am such a good area for lavender, lavender does something in zone 10. English lavender does something in zone 10 that um, other lavenders don't do. It sprouts um, growth from the base. Yeah, so even though the plant is old, it creeps in my area. So this plant, it'll have its woody growth up here and underneath, it'll just start to spread out. Lavender will start to spread out. And if there's any dirt, it will reroot and just grow itself across the space, which is what this is doing. But this old growth would then quit flowering and it would be this beautiful woody base. I cut all the wood off of this one, but I've left wood on other ones just because it gets thick and gnarly and it's small and you see the, the way it looks, it's pretty. So, and it'll open up and the whole middle will be wood and then the plant will go in two different directions and it can cover, it can creep in my area and cover the whole space. But I didn't want this one to do it. I just want this to be a nice lavender hedge. And um, as you can see, the new plants did not didn't were not affected by me cut cutting out the old woody growth. So you can check your plant. If you see it springing up on the edges with new growth, this growth will grow into a lush plant and cover this whole space. You can train it to cover this whole space. But if the plant is here, then the growth is going to grow out over this way and grow out over that way. And um, even in Southern California with a drought, it will require no uh, water. It will just die back and protect this new growth and the plant will live for years and years and years. So, yeah, so that's what my trimmed plant looks like. Um, you can't do this kind of trim in the fall. It's too late. This is the summer trim only. Okay? It's basically you're, you're, you're um, cutting out your old plant and just leaving the, I think they call them runners or something. I forget the name of them. But a lot of trees and shrubs do send out some new growth from the base when they deem it necessary but you have to look with lavender you need to look before you chop if you don't see any new green growth at the base then you just do that third of an inch chop and go your way um, I'm gonna do another video where I show you some that I successfully transplanted and some that didn't make it lavender is very tricky like that in my area but once it gets itself established it is tough as nails <laughs>